Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Ciao a tutti. Hello. Many. We have nine participants today. Wonderful. So you you've seen like the the Lingo Pie music. I was running the, the Italian channel. Hopefully you enjoy it. So the webinar today, I'll be like presenting for you along with Cesar, who's here as well. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself first. Well, I'm Pedro. I'm from Brazil. I've been working at LingoPi for like over than three years. I started in the, the Portuguese cat team. So I helped building from, from the scratch the, the Portuguese catalog. But nowadays I move to a different position. I'm working at with partnerships, affiliates, influencers, all the these different views. Cesar, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, yes. Uh, from here is good afternoon. <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly where are you guys located, but yeah, for uh, Pedro that is in Europe is good evening and for me good afternoon. But yeah, I'm also from Brazil. Uh, uh, I've used to work in the Korean catalog. I helped uh, LingoPy to create that. Nowadays, I also work in marketing. Uh, I'm in the YouTube end. Uh, but if you uh, really enjoy LingoPy and you want any help regarding to our product or uh, uh, in more advanced uh, helps in languages parts or Asian languages, I'm here to help. And I'm also responsible to welcome you guys and make sure that you have a great experience. So, yeah. Thank you, Seth. Ah, by the way, I am in Istanbul now. I don't know if there's someone from Turkey. Uh, also, in this room, we have Raisa in Shakedinho. You can see like Shakedinho at product. They, they are all part of LingoPy. So it's going to be a lovely discussion. I'm going to introduce how it works the platform. And later on, I'm gonna we're gonna open for the Q and A session. So let's go there, guys, to see how it works. Nigopai. I'm gonna share my screen first. Oh, but before oh my god, I forgot the first the main question and and which is where you're from and what language you are learning. So you can chat down. Put in the chat. So I. Like from Brazil. Italian. Texas. Hey Charlie, Texas and learning Spanish. Amazing. How how's the how's your Spanish so far? Medium. Good. So if you're I think of why we are here to, to move the medium to like a higher level. It would be amazing. Uh, Nigel, New Zealand, which learn Italian. Italian is so beautiful, Nigel. I mean, I stuck in the Italian. I want to learn different language, but I, I'm still like in the Italian, Italian, and Italian. But I want to migrate it to a different language. Sam from England, learning Spanish. Chicago, learning Spanish. Charlie using, using Babel. I mean, Lingua Pi is a way, way cooler. Nigel gave up Duolingo. I, I did the same a few years ago. And Conrad from Texans learning Spanish. We have like two Texans here learning Spanish. Welcome aboard, guys. So let me explain how it works our platform first. So let me share my screen. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. OK. Amazing, thank you so much. So I want to show you how it works, the Italian catalog first. And I'm going to use as the base of this webinar. So when you access, if whether it's like Italian, Spanish, or whatever language you are learning, you'll be able to see this. This is our, our home page, our main page. This is how it looks like LingoPy. It is like a really cool platform. We have like a lot of shows. It is divided by categories. Uh, as we are folks on learning a language, we have like beginner category, have like intermediate categories. We have comedy, drama, all these kind of cool things. Uh, also some ca 
catalogs, we have like different kind of content, like news in Spanish. We have documentaries, we have audiobooks, uh, podcasts, some uh, catalog. So it's super nice. It's a huge, large library of content in, for each catalog. So I'm sure you're going to find the right show for you to learn a language or improve your, your language. So let me use the Italian catalog as a base of the explanation of how it works, the features. Uh, at the end of this brief explanation, I'm going to give you like the key feature to learn a language. I mean, it's it's quite obvious and it, it makes sense everything. From all the, the features that we have, it's above everything that we have from the features or the, the button that it clicks, flashcards. There's like some, the, the key ingredient for that that I'm going to tell you like in a few minutes. So let me get like a show here. Well, well, my list, I have Paulo e Francesca. That, that is super cool. Uh, I clicked in the information so you can see what it's about, what you're going to learn, the vocab, all the words and phrase that I, and same um, expressions that I clicked in Paulo e, Fran Paulo, Paulo e Francesca. So in the, all these words, you can see like this check, it means like I already know, and I'm gonna show you how you can find these words as well out of the show. So let me explain first what is inside in, of each show. First here have like the words matching with the level that you put when you register at League of Fire. So it's gonna be easier for you to use the these words because they will like appear more often in a easy way so we can start like not only memorize but learning the main language for your level that is the reason we have like this small star also it's divided by colors blue is now pronouns we have like verbs adverbs it's all the, the categories for words when you click to watch you see like on your, your right screen the script so they script all the dialogues that you will find inside the show. Let me move forward. Rotolare. Rotolare giù. Così trasforma la paura in una risata. Bambini impazziscono per queste cose. Well, you can see double subtitles. Also, if you, you want to remove the subtitles or just keep English or Italian, you can click on, on CC and pick here. Or we have, which is a super nice, that the keyboard shortcuts for this specific like coding let's say you use x or c you can play around it's super simple to use you have like different shortcuts as well for like all the features so you can like learn it about it here on show keyboard shortcut and you can start like playing around also you have like Media Grammar Coach, which is like uh, different features that is going to explain how it works. Uh, grammarly speaking, this dialogue, it's one of the a few features that we offer. Also, all the times that you click in words, Queste. you see like the, the, the translation, the meaning, and Cose. When I click in the word, it goes directly, that word or expression goes directly to my vocab. So here's your vocab that all the words that I clicked here goes through here. And all the words that it's here, it goes through your main vault of vocabulary. Also, we have like speaking sentence. Bambini impazziscono per queste cose. You're going to listen in more like a regular way. They say it featured one of my favorite. It's like it's bambini speaking. impazziscono per queste cose. To improve your speaking skills. Bambini impazziscono per queste cose. Okay, a grade 78 out of 100. Impazziscono, maybe this word was like tricky for me. Uh, e bravo. We have the looping. So like the looping sense is going to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it like English. You can speed down the video to 0.65. If you didn't understand like, uh, like some sort of like expression, 
you can speed down to get better what people are saying. That... Sì, è un po' infantile, infatti. Sì, è un po' infantile, infatti. Also, we have like a few more features here in the learning modes. Auto pause, it's super useful. At the end of the dialogue, it pauses automatically. So after we, you finish, my, my recommendation is you should watch the content first as you're like having fun. Maybe I, I just gave my, my first tip, having fun. And then you, you retake it, rewind the, the video and start like getting like words and playing the games, like click on flashcards, seeing what you don't know yet. So for example, Okay, it's over the the auto pause. So I just press space bar. Boy. Boy. Oh. Oh my god. Seems not working. So if you press space bar or click on play, it look at it for the next line. And it pauses automatically. So here's the I already explained the script, the script until the end, and you see it like all the dialogues. Also, when you finish like a show, at the end, it's go you're gonna jump through like a, a quiz. So have like some games after you finish the show and after you click in like many words. So it's super nice because you have like a struct, not a structure course, but you start like understand how it works the language through the video, the words that you click, and like a like a small text at the end to see if you already get something there. Uh, I'm gonna jump and explain where you can find all the words that you click. Pedro, uh, can you uh, check the grammar index uh, before leaving the player, please? Oh, okay, okay. Just to have the words. Yeah, I click once, but I can click again here. So here's the grammar index. They it's going to give you the, the, the like kind of like more in-depth explanation the about the grammar about in this phrase like ci devo ancora lavorare what is like ci devo ancora lavorare in questo ci by the way if you're learning Italian questo ci can be like a lot of things can be like mm -hmm. nos ci can be like a uh, ci locativo it's like a, a place questo ci can be like like a thing, it's super crazy. Chi and ne are those like particular that it's super hard to, to learn in Italian. But I think you're gonna, if you're learning Italian, you're gonna take it like pretty easy. So in this case, the, the grammar explanation is gonna explain what is like the chi, the devo, uh, and, and how it mixes together this word. So we can use like for all the catalogs and languages, it's gonna work pretty well. Let me jump in into the flashcards so all the so now that let's say you finish the, this video and you want to see where's these flashcards are, are stored so you can come here in words collected or review and practice it's the same and here you can see like learn well i i still have like one 121 words to learn and I mastered 40 words so I can start like playing here let's see start let's start with cose cose things mm, I know what is things I know what is cose cose uh queste this mm, I know what is this and you can see like time seen two times that I've seen this word and the last time I saw it. and where did you click in this word in this specific show like have the name here, Paulo and Francesca, and the dialogue that you find you found this this specific word. So you can like play like English words. So in uh, all the times that you clicked, I know the learning word goes to master. So you just like moving words from here into here. If you move, like you made a, like a mistake, you can move it back like the word from to here that it works easily. Also, you can like play pop quiz. Those pop quiz in Play Word Master are the same games that you have when you finish like a show. So if you click here, 
nel tempo libero progettavo piscine. Piscine, what is piscine? Swimming pool, oh my god. So you can start like playing uh, all free. It's gonna use all the words that you clicked. So iniziava. Uh, it was beginning. L'olio dop. The dop oil. Lezione. Class. And so on. Word master is the same. You can play around. Also, we have like kids channels for almost for most of the catalogs that we have. We have like kids channel for Spanish, French, we have for German and Italian. Let me quit exit here. We have music for most of the catalogs as well. Uh, I don't. I think we don't have music on for Russian. And in the Chinese catalog, for the other catalogs, we have music. And we have like this special Netflix select. What is that, this Netflix select? We don't have like all the Netflix shows, by the way. If we, we don't have like all the Netflix for the, the Italian speakers. But we have like a few hits. We have like about like 15, 20 shows for each channel. And we use on top of the Netflix shows our technology that we use for the main channel so if you want it's it's not like a mandatory thing because not everyone has a netflix account if you want to watch like netflix shows you just click here you should download like an extension for google chrome and you you should have like a netflix account and merge with your lingopa account with this extension it's super simple to use uh, I'd like to highlight here, which is super important. If you don't have a Netflix account, there's not a problem because 95% of the shows that we have on our platform works for everyone who has only a LingoPy a Lingo account. We don't have like tons of shows on, on Netflix. I mean, also, if you're learning a language, you're, you are a completely beginner. Probably you don't want to watch like Netflix shows to learn a language. I mean, if they are like two hours length with some hardcore vocabulary, I mean, learning Spanish with Casa de Papel, it's quite hard. It, it is possible, but it's hard. Uh, that is the reason we have like more like easy shows from the same, like a regular vocabulary, uh, simple words, like slower. So that is the main goal, not only like teaching English, but like immersing yourself in the platform and the language. To end in the explanation, I want to bring um, the, the live lessons. So we have lessons, like group lessons, which is our, these live lessons for Spanish, Italian, French, and Japanese now. So how it works, those lessons, they are amazing, by the way. They are like something like outstanding. We have all those teachers, they, they are like work full time with us. So let's say Maureen did this class for tomorrow about, let's talk about work. So we have like specific subjects and specific like materials using our contents that we have on Tungopai to, to teach some words, expressions, to bring like more explanation and like help like students improve their speaking skills. So it's not like a, a structure course, but let, let's say it is like more like a directed, like a like more guided course for like speaking, talking about like different subjects, like work, eating, to, eating together. We have like about like traveling. We have like class about sports, uh, games, like bring some popcorn, move time. We have like class about everything, but it's not a structured course, which is like amazing because you're going to meet like people there uh, you're gonna learn how how to behave yourself. Like I don't know in a, in a theater, let's say. Also have here the passato prossimo. Uh, what is like passato prossimo? What is this essere o avere? So it's pretty focused in like one specific subject and how it works. Everyone here has access to the first lesson. So the first lesson is for free, which is amazing. If you want to like keep going those lessons, you should you pay like a, an extra fee. 
but we can like talk like in a, in a few minutes about that. But I think like if before like talking about like pricing and all those things, I highly recommend everyone in this room to try the first lesson. So the first lesson starts for free. And it's super amazing to like understand how it works LingoPy through the teacher's vision. Also, if you are like, a, let's say a lonely wolf and want to have like a one-on-one -on -one lessons, we have a one-on-one -on -one classes for some language as well. So we have like private lessons here. And you can have like your tailor-made lesson with like a teacher guiding you through the, the, the first steps and to where you want to reach your, your fluence. We have like the same teachers that gave if like one-on-one -on -one lessons are the same teachers that teach the group lessons. And now, like I said, like it was like the end, but no, I forgot. We have like the Discord community. Here, we can find like a, a lovely community where like learning of learners, like teachers, we have like everyone that is only in GoPi is on our Discord community. There you can like ask questions, like send bugs, uh, requests, recommend movies for us as well. Maybe you can find your, your dream movie there. So here's the place where it's divided by language, by, by matters. So it's a super nice place to, to communicate, not only with us, because we are there as well, but with all different learners as too. Well, guys, I think that is it. I think it, I talked a lot. Cesar, did I miss something? Uh, can you show the My Library tab and how to add uh, shows and how it will behave with the shows that we already watched and the favorite shows and everything? Okay, your favorite shows. Let's say you love, love is out here. So you just click here, add to My Library. You have My Library here too. So in My Library, you can see like your favorite shows the one that I clicked, love is all here. We have like watch again, things that I've been, I've watched. I mean, the world of swimming is super nice. And the, 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 the movies and TV shows that I've been watching. So as I show Paulo Francesca, this was like my first option here. I've, I, I think that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That is good. Guys, now it is. Oh, by the way, at the end, like the I forgot to say the the key thing to learn a language, which is like above the all the features we have, is only have fun. If you're having fun by watching like a content, probably in a few months you start like getting words, expression, and most likely you're gonna speak like your favorite characters. If you're like having fun, that is what matters. I mean, if you if you're annoying and it's it's sucks to learn it's gonna be super hard but having fun i think it's like six or seven percent of, of the all the path for learning a language because it's super hard to learn a language and i think like having fun is like a really good like a uh, uh, key parameter to see how it's gonna be how you're gonna develop your process to learn that language that is it folks now it's open for the q a session bring your questions we have an interesting uh in the in the chat so charlie asked that uh he joined a seven day trial and the technology is great but uh the the 15 minutes episode took took uh, an hour to watch so uh i don't recommend you to go back to one uh or, or app i just think uh to enjoy it better uh, if at first you need to organize how you're gonna intake the episodes. So, uh, as a teacher, I strongly recommend first of all, don't freak out with every single word, don't click in every single thing, because the learning a language is not only about the words, it's about the body language, it's about how people talk, it's about that there are a whole situation around the words. So, I strongly recommend first of all, take uh, episode an episode that uh you really want to learn from so if you are planning to travel to a different country or to go to a restaurant or to book in a hotel 
I strongly recommend you to try to find those specific situations that you want to learn from. Watch it the whole the whole episode uh, from beginning to the end, and then after that, go back and start clicking the words that uh you think that those are the keywords for those for those situations, and try to learn the grammar from that. If you feel like you still learn some gram grammar help or any other things, uh, you can go to other apps or to books or to other things that you can learn from as well. Don't isolate yourself like, oh, I'm going to uh, learn just from LinguaPy or I'm going to buy this textbook and I'm just learning from that one. Uh, I think being an octopus trying to hold uh, and learn from different points it's really interesting and really good as well. So try to go step by step. First of all, try to see your own body language and everything. And then you can learn the words and try to be better and better to improve your learning process. Okay. Let me see here. We don't have like many questions today. No lessons in German? Not yet. I mean, every Wednesday we have like a request for German lessons. I think that is a sign. Shaken, I think that is a sign. We should like bring this information. Hey guys, don't be, don't be, don't be shy. We still have time here for you. Oh, I have like a question here. Nice, Charlie. I think that tech is fantastic and your experience is amazing. Well, Charlie, do you want to bring like, how's your experience? Like if you have been like so far, I think that it is like a good asset for everyone, including for us. Yeah, I, am I audible? Yeah, oh, please, am, yes. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay, so I, 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 my, so my, I, I took Spanish for three years in, in middle school, and I did crummy, didn't like it, and I had, my whole life felt, you know, something was missing, sort of, and this whole I can't learn stuck with me, but but that's not, that's not real. Like you have to focus, you have to get out and enjoy. And my son, he's taken um, a few languages and he, he speaks four right now and he's encouraged me. Um, I'm using the, the app that I, that I told you. And, and that, that's a good company. It's a good app. Um, it, it, it's not as um, engaging, if, if you will, as, as LingoPie. I, I, I thought the technology and the experience in LingoPie was, was marvelous. Um, I came here not expecting to learn anything because I really, I really dug through every screen that was there. So everything you, you shared in Italian, I, I saw in Spanish. My only, my only issue was I, 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 I do well in, in, in Babel. I do well in the books, but I, I wasn't making the progress that I wanted and a four to one, you know, four, four hours to watch, to watch a 15 minute episode that, that just, it felt wrong. And I thought I'd go study up a little bit more and come back in two months or something like that and, and try again. And probably, you know, the the dive in the deep end is is something that you would recommend. And and that you know that that's the other reason I'm here because because again, your technology is spectacular. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, yeah, Pedro. Let yes. me, let me, yeah, I think Charlie, first of all, uh, nice to meet you all guys. Uh, I'm uh, Shaked, I'm in charge of the product. Um, I think uh, what you're bringing is something that, uh, it's, a, it's definitely something that we, that we feel that is uh, maybe one of the, the first impression or the first struggles that many people has, especially us as an adult. We, we are taking it very seriously when we come to a project, when we, we try to achieve something. And many times this frustration of like, you know, something is very overwhelming, something that it's not so, uh, it's not so uh, easy to, to, to grasp. And what I think, uh, like the advice and I, both me, Pedro, Cesar, 
we along uh, we, like we we learn we self taught ourselves uh, like different uh, languages and i think the best and the most important thing is uh, like forget all we know as an adult and go back to the way we learn a language as uh, as babies uh because you know your baby born you, you were speaking about your sign i think it's really beautiful that it inspired you to 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 go back and uh, learn spanish uh and i think this is why kids specifically young kids are, are going so so deeply into the language because they don't really think and they don't take, take this up too seriously and i think sometimes uh, i'm speaking with many many of our users and it feels like many times people are like says as suggested like people are so into like i want to feel that i'm getting progress and i want to feel that i'm clicking on words and learning a lot a bunch of vocabulary and this is many by the way many language apps this is why they provide you but in the end of the day besides of like memorizing tons of words uh, it's hard for you to comprehend what people are speaking and i think the most important thing and i just uh, you know uh, taking what Cesar said and just uh, emphasizing on that is that you just try to follow up with a story we intentionally we, we didn't we didn't got like uh, like maybe other platforms educational content we really uh, we licensed broadcaster content and this this is supposed to be something that uh, that is very high production very high quality and as long as you try to really sit back and relax you can put your subtitles in your own language until your your ears are getting used to the to the way people are speaking and in the end like whatever other platform you have there the only thing that can actually matter is, is watch and and like get used to the to listening to the to listen to the to the language and really really try to connect with the culture because that's in the end the reason why we all let as, like learn languages is not to memorize tons of words is really to learn about other cultures and communicate with other people and it doesn't matter if it's japanese or spanish in the end as humans we all communicate uh, pretty much the same the words and some of the the grammars can be different so yeah so i think uh, thank you Thank you. You're, you're inspiring. I, I, will, I will give it another shot. Thank you. Lovely. Amazing. Thank you. By the way, Charlie, what, what, which language do your, your, your son speaks? Just like um, the other thing. So English, obviously. Sp Spanish, he, he did a semester in Madrid. Danish, he did a semester in, in Copenhagen. And now he's in Morocco doing a full immersion in French. Nice. Danish. Danish. It's yeah, the, the Danish really? that that one was a challenge. He he took he took a year in in college um and 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 took lessons and self-learned and he, he as as the last person suggested multiple different ways of learning, multiple different channels to to your brain. Um and and then he dove in deep while in Copenhagen and and he's conversational in that and he's C2 in Spanish. And he'll he'll probably be high B's, low C's in French soon. Amazing. This is nice. I, will, I love to hear like some some history about like polyglots and how do how do they learn like a, a language? Does yeah, that, that's his goal. He's Portuguese is next. <laughs> Portuguese now, oh, so you can bring him bring him to like there language. you go. A lot of there Portuguese. you go. The Brazil. Anyway, a lot of Portuguese speakers here. Very nice. Guys, more questions, or maybe you can close the the webinar for now. By the way, if you have any question regarding anything, you can send like a message to us. I will leave like our emails here, which is super important to keep like a uh, communication between us. I'm gonna keep your email checked as well. Oh, we have another question. Sammy asking uh, when we are going to add new Netflix series. Uh, we are, we add it like uh, frequently, a lot. And we are really planning to get a uh, 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 review in most of the Netflix content and add most of it in our catalog. 
until the end of the year. But we always add new shows. If you have any specific show that you really want to watch, not only from Netflix, but from any place, you can go to the Discord community to your specific language and say, oh, I really want to watch this one. We always read the comments. We always try to uh, fill you guys with good content because we know that what is good for me is not the same for you. So we listen a lot. We make sure that we try to intake uh, criticism and uh, tips to make sure that we get a better and better product. And I agree with Sam. I, I would love to see more sports document documentaries. That would be amazing. I think I've watched all the, the sport documentaries on Netflix. Something pretty nice. Well, guys. Um, who is like saying before Lingo Pai found it useful watching the document? Nice. If you enjoy it, sports definitely gonna really like learn easily by watching it, guys. Uh, go ahead, feel free to reach out to us. On we have both that community, the power of community. Uh, we totally understand uh, it can be overwhelming at the time to really watch uh, you know, a whole movie or whole series in a language that you are want to learn. But take the time, don't take yourself seriously, really try to enjoy, have fun, and ask the, the follow uh, like, like the, your colleagues, uh, students in, in the Discord, and you can reach out to us, and we can really, really. We'll do our best to, to accommodate and to just to improve the experience. And we still work in progress. We're really, really happy that you gave us the chance. And yeah, just like feel free to reach out. Only with your help, we can we can make the experience even better. Thank you, Shaq. Obrigado. Pleasure. Valeu, gente. Ciao, ciao. Thank you, thank you. Nos vemos. Beijinhos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guru Shurus, like in Turkey. <laughs>